Hello, I'm Chuck Epperly. I'm pastor of the Craneville Baptist Church in Carterville, Illinois. And it's good to be here. And it's good to be part of the TCT family. And especially ask the pastor in which many of us, myself included, get to answer questions from individuals who call in or other ways in which they ask their question about the scriptures. And this is one way, television is one way in which people can understand and grasp and learn more and more about, it, what, it, about what it means to be a follower of Jesus Christ. And I encourage you, I encourage you to, to call in TCT at 800-232-9855 and talk to individuals, talk to people who want to learn about what it means to be a Christian. Tremendous opportunity. I know my own life, I grew up in the inner city of Chicago, and I always, I guess you could say not always, but there became a point in time where I did not bother with church, I did not believe in much of anything, I went my own way. And that was very disgusting, very disheartening for my parents, but things change in life. Individuals can change. Individuals can change through Jesus Christ. I know in my own life, my, my major, major emphasis was on sports. I was playing football and baseball in college. And a, a third, third major emphasis, I guess you could say, it was, was girls. But over a period of time, over a long period of time, I had gotten my wish. I was drafted and I signed by signed by the Minnesota Twins and I was playing in their organization. And I thought everything was going great in my life. I thought I had everything down pat. I thought I was top of the world. I thought I was my own God. But something inside of me kept gnawing away that there's something missing. And every once in a while I, I, I get this feeling, this deep intense feeling that life isn't just as perfect as I thought it would be. And amazingly, I was playing baseball one year and I wanted to go to college. I was going to college during my baseball career. And my dad said it was too late to register you at the university. And I looked at him, I said, well, what do you mean? I want to go to school in the off season. I don't want to work. So he told me that he had rolled me into a Christian college. Now, what in the world would I do going to a Christian college? But I went there. I got there late. We were playing the playoffs that year. And I signed up for a course called Pauline Writings. I had no clue who Pauline was. I never knew her before in my life and didn't know her then. Later, I found out it was writings on the Apostle Paul. But amazingly, at that college, I learned more and more about Christ. I had, to go to, I had to go to chapel every day. And things started to change in my life, unbelievably change. And as I went back to play ball the following year, I had become a different person in Jesus Christ. I experienced him, I learned to love him, and I knew that there was more to life than just playing baseball. And I can remember the exact time and moment when I made that commitment that I would follow the Lord. And it was in spring training in the dugout. I was standing there and a person, a pitcher by the name of Noxio Valdez said, Chuck, what is wrong with you? And I could only say, I don't know. And it was then I made that commitment. It was then I was confused a little bit about playing ball. I came home two or three times that year. I said I wasn't playing anymore. And I went back to school, did not know quite what I was going to do. I was a psychology major, but, but I changed my, my major to Christian religion. And I graduated with my BA in Christian religion. And then I didn't know I'm going to what to do exactly with my life. I went to seminary, I became a minister, and believe it or not, if it can happen to me, not necessarily being a minister, but being a Christian, anybody can. 